Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Citizen is forcibly kidnapped from her home in Mexico, and now her family is pleading for help. The FBI offering a $20,000 reward for her safe return. 63-year-old Maria del Carmen Lopez, who has ties to Southern California, was abducted more than a month ago. And we spoke with one of her daughters here in L.A. She is pleading for help to find her. KTLA's John Finolio tracking the case and joins us live from our news center with the latest. John. Sandra Micah, the family says their mother had been living in Mexico for about the last 10 years, that she and her husband moved there in what was supposed to be a dream retirement. We're also hearing from the FBI, who say they have evidence this was a brazen abduction. We have been living a nightmare for the last 37 days, and all we want is we want to have our mother back. Zonia Lopez is pleading for her mother's safe return after she was abducted in Mexico five weeks ago. 63-year-old Maria del Carmen Lopez is a dual citizen of the U.S. and Mexico. After raising her family in the Los Angeles area, she and her husband moved to the small town of Pueblo Nuevo in the state of Colima, Mexico. The couple has been living there for almost a decade. But on February 9th, Del Carmen Lopez was taken from her home in broad daylight by several men wearing hoods. Her daughter, Zonia, says neighbors witnessed her mother's kidnapping. They did hear my mom say that she would not go with them. And what he did see, he doesn't know if she was either pushed down or she crouched down. And two of these men picked her up, they covered her mouth, and they drove off. The FBI now offering a $20,000 reward for information leading to her whereabouts. We don't believe it's drug related. We don't believe she was involved in criminal activity. She was targeted for kidnapping, obviously. So at this point, we're still investigating and we want to be careful on, on stating a motive. Um, but, but we do believe she was the innocent victim of a kidnapping. This mother of seven and 19 grandchildren is the latest in a string of abductions or disappearances of Americans south of the border. Earlier this month, four Americans from South Carolina were ambushed and kidnapped by the Gulf Cartel in Matamoros, a town near the southeast Texas border. This cell phone video shows the group being loaded into the back of a pickup truck. Two of the victims, Shaid Woodard and Zindel Brown, were murdered. The other two rescued and returned to the U.S. Last month, three women from Texas went missing after they traveled from a small border town to Montemorelos to sell clothes at a local flea market. And in January, this Ohio architect and his fiance were found dead in the central Mexican city of Zacatecas. Witnesses reported hearing screams as the couple was pulled into a white van where they were later found dead. In all of these instances, these Americans were in parts of Mexico deemed unsafe by the U.S. State Department, which has issued travel advisories to 30 of Mexico's 32 states. The most dangerous highlighted in red here. That includes the state of Colima, where Del Carmen Lopez was abducted. Please think about her. We all have a mother. We all have someone we love and care for. We need her. The FBI would not comment on whether a ransom has been de demanded by the kidnappers. As for the victim's husband, his daughter tells us, well, he was not harmed and that he was actually in Los Angeles for a doctor's appointment at the time of the abduction.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.